I am getting really, really peeved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm getting miffed uh-huh. at the continuing nonsense that is Shenmue 3. And the reason why I'm getting peeved and pissed and I'm miffed, fully done now, by the way. The I backed reas- it. The I'm- reason why I'm, I'm getting unchuffed is because... Oh, there's a feeling in my chest right now that I can't quite identify that's new, and I don't like it. It's not anger. It's like tired disappointment. I don't even care about the part where like Shenmue 3 is fucking up and all these bad things are happening. The fact that um, Yu Suzuki's name and all of this is ruining the good shit that like was otherwise a flawless track record. All the YS games. Yu Suzuki is pretty great. Right? Yeah. In my brain, if there was a mistake, this is how good it the was. The man invented Virtua Fighter. This is how good it was, right? <laughs> In my brain, like, his name and the AM2 shit, like, that. I, in my brain, it's a flawless track Sega record. Sega AM2 makes my dick hard. Even though, even though there's probably some clunkers in there. Yeah, probably. I've, I've steamrolled Sega past AM2. them. AM2. And you're like, oh, that, I'm gonna have fun. That palm tree means good shit. Yeah. That signature means good shit, right? This is... Dragging that shit. So what the are you mud. talking about exactly? It sucks. What what possible thing about Shenmue Three could upset you? And 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 fucking and just no. And, I'm serious. You have to say what it is. We haven't talked about what. It I is. know. I know. But the thought. I'm that the, the oh, last okay. the last pre, pre the last setup oh, line. Okay. I was gonna say is on this clock reset is that Epic with their newfound form of post production. I'll call it. Yeah. Because it's producing the game after it's already. Produced. been pr- made and yeah. produced yeah is you get to skate because you're like here's some money buy right and then you start out your problems whatever people expected of you whatever you set up whatever you promised whatever eh, bye here's money buy right you I don't know Shenmue 3 backers will not receive uh, retail exclusive content uh YS Net can't seem to catch a break with Shenmue 3 after a massive backlash about refusing refunds for players dissatisfied with the sudden Epic Games Store exclusivity. Kickstarter backers will now not be receiving any retail exclusive content with their keys. Um, as discovered by VG247, um, a backer basically pointed out that um, they will need to pay, backers will need to pay for any additional content because uh, here's what it says standard and deluxe editions released through the retail sale will not be affiliated with the crowdfunding campaign. Because that's a thing that exists, apparently. That seems new. And thus will not be included with backer pledges. They will be available for sale separately. Uh, So, for some reason... This creates a scenario where backers are now not getting a complete version of the game they helped bring to life. Uh, Also doubly confusing, as both the Kickstarter and Slacker Backer editions have exclusive content of their own, Throw in a season pass that has undefined content and is also not being given to backers, and this has become a really crappy situation, according so, to the Destructoid article. The reason why you make retailer exclusive DLC is because the retailers, hey, we, you want us to stock your game a bunch, whatever, so you make retailer exclusive DLC. That's a thing that's been exi- uh, for a while. The deal is, is that as a Kickstarter, your primary consumer base and priority should be the people who paid you money to make the game exist. But Oh, you mean Epic? No, I mean You mean Epic. The, no, I mean the publisher that picked Shenmue. No, you mean Epic. No, I mean the No, I'm saying the what is the publisher behind Shenmue 3? Yeah. It's Yeast Games or some shit. Eastnet. Eastnet. They're the people who actually paid for most of Shenmue 3. They went out and made a bunch of deals with retailers cuz the Kickstarter has nothing to do with you or even kickstarting at all it was a fucking focus test deep silver deep silver now okay fuck it whatever right and deep silver doesn't give a shit and epic just give the Uh, money to make it all go away i hey wooly i have a i have a nice circle we can paint here i don't understand it's such an obvious fuck up to not make pokemon Right? Famous. Big famous, right? Everybody love it. Digimon. 
actually put in the work, right? Shenmue, right? How was Judgment? You played that this week. Pretty good. Was that a good time? I would say work was put in. Would you say that that thing is exploding with care and attention to detail? Felt pretty good. Yeah. Did you feel ripped the fuck off? Not when I went through Virtual Fighter. No. You mean the game that should be in Shenmue? Because it's made by the same man? Shenmue is also... It's literally like it's the worst because... Not the worst, but it's like... It's oh, it's getting pretty bad. It's now. get it's in an extra bad situation because like even with what like we don't even know what the game is or how it's going to be and it, and Shenmue three existing in a world that has Yakuza and Judgment out in it is already tough. That's already a battle that is tricky because once upon a time, like well, God, there's fucking there's like nine Yakuza games, nine or is it ten? 10? Come on. 1 through 6? Zero, 0 through 6. Right. Kiwami 1 and 2. Uh-huh. Black Panther 1, 2, and 3. Ishin okay. and Kenzan. Okay, wow. Yeah, no, I got nothing. No, I got no idea. Wooly, Yakuza is an annual franchise. Okay. And they hit that annual. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dead Souls. Dead Souls as well. I forgot Dead Souls. So it's closer to 15 now. Jesus Christ. Right? If you include Judgment. Like, it was already a, like, really rough situation. But hey, we want to know what happened with Rio Landy yeah. and that girl. So let's find you out. You know those things where they go, like, in the period between this game and this game coming... Like, this one sequel coming out, this entire... Like... In between DMC 4 and 5, I think the entire Assassin's Creed series has existed. That kind of shit. Right? Yeah. In the span of Shenmue 2 to 3, yeah. we will have had Kiryu's entire storyline, Miyamoto Musashi's Kiryu storyline, the Black Panther storyline, an online spinoff, and the new spinoff. Like... Yakuza series, for all intents and purposes, are is over until Yakuza uh, Shin comes out, or Shin Yakuza, whatever. But like that whole thing, and I know it drove Matt crazy to me for me to say like, you don't need another Shenmue game because Yakuza straight up replaced it. But the more that I dug into it and saw, hey, guess what? A lot of people who worked on Shenmue worked on Yakuza One and Yakuza Two, and. It's a Sega game. It's made by those people. Hmm. The big deal was Nagoshi wanted to do a fucking Shenmue game that had to deal with crime. And it had a really small... He wanted to make the, the fucking uh, one city block RPG. Mm -hmm. And he did. He totally did. 15 times in a <laughs> row! To, to change speeds entirely, uh, I would say, on a just a purely Kickstarter <laughs> discussion level... The worst thing you can do to someone who's a Kickstarter backer on your project is not make the thing that you took their money for. Right? That's the worst. That the son told me not to make. It. Yes, that is the number. That's the number one. <laughs> that's the one we go to every time. You it's can't. The funniest you, can, thing ever. you can't beat that. Right. Yeah. But number two is probably um, just having no respect for the 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 backer in terms of like everything around the project right so you know um mighty number no. nining the 3ds version right oh yeah right Shit well like, that's that's that didn't come out that's a not yeah you're right so, that's a, that's a non-release yeah, yeah yeah okay I, I, but but like the second worst thing you do then is things like this where you go well we're thank you for helping us out with the pledge but turns out that pledge was not a pledge it was just a vote it was a popularity so, vote and we didn't actually need that money. We just needed to prove that people were interested. And so we're going to treat that popularity vote... As a pre-order or whatever. But not really but a because you're, in a, you're in a pre-order in a different place for yeah. a different version while we incentivize every other thing. Well, because, say, we need to incentivize them. See, you didn't need any incentive because you bought it because you're an idiot. These people 
they need an incentive. So and, we need to give them a better deal. Well, it's more lo along the lines of after that Kickstarter campaign happened and then everything was successful and it went through, uh, the game then began, began, like development became normal game development. Yeah. And now it is going through normal game development. Um, with no, with the with the backer campaign being a, a, a footnote. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So you're getting all the, you're getting the exclusive, the special editions, you're getting DLC, you're getting a season pass, you're getting all the things that are normally associated with a regular game. Except you have these people that you're indebted to that you asked money for. That you were actually indebted to. And that, like, whether or not you told them how much of their money was being, was actually necessary in the grand scheme of things. Which it, is zero, actually. It was zero. Right? But that's not how those people are going to feel about it when they gave you their money. The, so, now you have a bunch of people that you're treating like shit because you're just going about business as usual as if they their backing didn't matter which it turns out it didn't because it wasn't actually the total amount you were backing for anyway whether or not you need it like if this is the second worst thing you can do to a kickstarter group whether or not you need it when you beg for money you should make sure that the deal you're offering those whom you are begging for money will be the best deal right so, this has created a situation where, say, you snap or whoever, when Wanda Shen move forward and they go to Kickstarter. Why? No, that's never going to happen. But, but, but let, let's imagine, right? Why would you ever, ever back it when you know you'll actually get a much better deal, at, like monetarily, but also content wise? By sticking around and waiting. Just wait. And also, hey, why not take it a step further and just buy it deeply discounted on sale? Oh, were the people that backed Shenmue 3 the people that care the most about Shenmue? Yes, the oh. people who should get the best stuff. Who, in fact, are going to be get shat on the, the most. Yeah. In, when, when That's this. the opposite of how that should go. <laughs> Just, like, imagine, it's imagine, so nuts so you know the, yeah, that they are letting this happen. So, you know the term slacker backer. Everybody, it's, it's the people who back after the Kickstarter campaign. They usually have to back like $5 extra to get the same rewards or whatever the fuck. Because it, it's an extra hassle and they couldn't guarantee the money when they were planning. Blah, 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 blah. This is a situation in which, hey, Wooly, you backed day one of the Kickstarter. Okay, Kickstarter's over. Okay, we don't have enough money. Slacker backers, you can get a full upgrade tier higher for the same amount. No original backers. You may not res refund your thing and get a slacker backer thing. No, no. Slacker backers are a new hotness. Okay, still don't have enough money. S slacker backers. You will now get a Coke <laughs> with your with your pledge. Everything the other guys got and a Coke. And it's like, take your Kickstarter pledge down to GameStop and hand them the money. And then tell them you want to kickstart Shenmue 3. And they'll take it and go, okay. Yeah, honestly, get your refund. <laughs> and if you still want the game, go and pre-order it at a retail location. You'll get a better version of the fucking game. Or, better yet... On refund the, no, your money and then don't it's not even about a better version of the game because we don't even know what the content is going to be it, yet any it will b but flat the, be but, a better version but of the, the game. pro the problem is not even that it's not even that it's that we you you it's it's stupid it's stupid. there's no complete version of the game right the stuff that you get for being a slacker backer is different from being a kickstarter it's and the kickstarter is different from being a pre-order person with the regular retail you know version. those charts people mock ubisoft for making you shouldn't need one for a fucking kickstarter game Hey, me and you kickstarted Shovel Knight. A lot of people kickstarted Shovel Knight, right? That game's still not done. Still waiting for the battle mode. Guess what? The three versions of the game they put out? Awesome. I'm still gonna get that fucking battle mode when that drops. Awesome. I feel really, really good about helping Yacht Club make that game. Yeah. It made me yeah. feel really smart. Yeah. And that I did a good thing. Yeah. Uh, the final thing that I just, I think about now is just that, like, so all that bad, all that bad press in the past uh, couple weeks, a lot of that falls on Epic. Because people a are just A lot like, of it. Because people are just like, fuck, we hate your store. Epic this gets sucks. to... But ultimately, everyone goes, we understand the game's buying into 
uh, a deal they can't refuse. That's right. Right. They could have refused this deal in a second. This is not this. And Epic stepping in to pay back the 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 refunds and whatnot is like okay, yeah. Epic does what they want to do, and they continue to take that heat because they're still putting the game in a place where people don't want it. How do I fucking even get a refund? I actually do want to get a refund, but I don't know where to send the email. The fact that this stupid shit is happening due to modern nickel and diming season pass exclusive Crap. content bullshit that's just like completely and utterly unnecessary it should be removed from crowdfunded game like it, you shouldn't need it because hey guess what you it got paid for right just the most optional fuck up i have seen all year this is an optional fuck up you didn't need this is dlc fuck up you you purchased the fuck up season pass <sighs> And now you're getting optional, like optional anger from everybody that you didn't need to do. You could have completely avoided this by just making the game. Just make the game. <laughs> it's so weird when it gets this convoluted in an attempt to make a little bit extra, and in the process, just garners so much frustration from everyone that already gave you money. It's not just angry internet voices mobbing in the wind. It's people that paid you, man. Plan to offer refunds. This was July 2nd, so I don't think they've even started it yet. For the fucking... AM2, man. This is not AM2. You, Suzuki. This is not AM2. Yes. There will not be a yes. fucking Sega AM2 fucking logo at the beginning of this game fuck that that yeast rpg game that everyone cares about the only yeast that mattered was no that's not true <laughs> but nonetheless this is the yeast that i think of more than the other yeast. i highly suggest taking all of your weird frustrations with shenmue and going and checking out judgment i am i am Judge actively Eyes. checking out Judge that Eyes. is that is not just to you that's obviously i was talking to uh, Christ, Susie got into it. A ton of people are like, holy shit, this game... Like, hey, guess what? That series is awesome and does everything that you wanted Shenmue to do way better other than finish the Shenmue storyline. Yeah, we are fortunately in a world where you have a choice to not care about what's happening here. Also, as as a person who... I've never played the Shenmue series. Ever. Um, I have only seen other people play it. And to this day, I don't get it. I backed it because I thought it would be cool. But, like, that game looks terrible. And the voice acting is embarrassing in a really awkward, horrible way. I don't get it. I really don't get it. You spend the whole game trading and learning moves for two fights. So you get two chances to actually. Use when did those Shenmue moves. Two come out? Two thousand one. Four years later, Yakuza One came out and made it look like a joke. I cared about Shenmue at the time. Didn't care about Shenmue Two enough to beat it. Strung me along too long. Dropped off. Shenmue was already coming back with weights on. This is unnecessary, and like. If it came out, no problems, and just had the content. Yeah. The content on its own had issues to address. Yeah. Now it's just all around, everything about it. And that fucking sucks. 